Hey, so the next series of tutorials that we do is going to add uh, explosions when the bricks are hit and finally break. So if you want to watch while I play it, you'll see it happening. Um, let's get it up on the top row. So you'll see that brick explode and then the bricks kind of blow up and the pieces fall down. Just adds a layer of complexity and the way you make your games feel real is by adding many of those layers of complexity. Um, so, let's get right to it. You'll notice, actually, I'll just keep talking about it, if we watch some of the explosions happen there, that each piece is going in a different direction. It starts out as the same color as a brick is uh, at its weakest point. Um, but then, uh, and the pieces fall, and there's a random number of pieces, so that each one looks weird, and, or looks unique instead of uh, kind of like set up ahead of time. So it adds an element of kind of reality to the uh, explosions. So we'll do all those things. The first thing we're going to do is just build a single piece, like one of those little uh, light blue bricks, or blocks, you know, like the ones that are falling down. We're not going to build a series of them in this tutorial. We're just going to build the class for a single one, uh, which is going to be a fairly straightforward class. So let's get right into it. Uh, I just called them brick piece. So we're going to add another class to our... Um, to whichever project you're working in. Uh, brick piece, it's going to be called. And so when you think about brick piece, it needs to know a couple things about itself. Uh, it needs to know its location and uh, the direction that it's going. So in the fields, it needs to have private, let's just use doubles, uh, private double x, y, because it needs to know its location in space, dx, and dy, so that it can travel in a different direction from other pieces of brick. And uh, it needs to know some sort of uh, how fast it should fall. Uh, and then private color, we're just going to call this color, and each of these colors is going to be the same. So. Um, but for now, we'll just do it this way so you could potentially use it uh, in a more flexible program. Um, and it needs to have the map, private map, the map. It's just going to get the same map as the whole game. It just needs to know stuff about the map. Um, basically, it just needs to know the brick width and brick height. But it can't ask those thing, those questions unless it has the map. And then it needs to know some size, so private int yeah, let's just use int size. Um, and so the here we'll have a constructor, public brick piece. And we want, like, when one of these things is created, um, we want the, okay, 